Mr. Speaker, I rise to support the bill that is before the House as presented by the Honorable Prime Minister earlier today. But Mr. Speaker, it would be remiss of me to make a very short presentation on the bill without acknowledging the earlier contribution by the member for Viewfort South. I think, Mr. Speaker, we were treated to a masterclass of a presentation by the member in supporting the bill as presented by the Prime Minister. But, Mr. Speaker, I will crave your indulgence briefly to place on the record my condolences to two families in my constituency who have lost loved ones, the Noel family in Olio and the Kelly family of Despin. And Mr. Speaker, I also want to join the member for Grusily in congratulating Julian Alfred for having represented her educational institution and by extension, our country with distinction. Mr. Speaker, Superintendent of Police Burton de Tourville is a constituent of mine, and I must also place on the record the condolences of the people of Denry North to the de Tourville family on the passing of the senior police officer. Mr. Speaker, today is historic. Historic in terms of the parliament and also our country. Today we boldly transition from the Privy Council to the CCG as the final appellate court for our people and our country. Mr. Speaker, I believe that taking this particular bill to the parliament or the amendment of the constitution is a profound expression of confidence in the homegrown legal talent that reside in our country and by extension, the Caribbean. Mr. Speaker, there was a time in our history when people would frown on the quality coming out of the Caribbean, not because we were not matching up to what obtained elsewhere, but we had been made to believe that anything coming from us was inferior to what obtained elsewhere. And Mr. Mr. Speaker, thankfully today, we are able to see the light for ourselves and tell our people as leaders that what emanates and what comes out of the Caribbean is comparable to what obtains anywhere else in the world. And the legal fraternity is not an exception. Mr. Speaker, many have criticized our administration for going the route of the CCJ. Mr. Speaker, the CCJ that we are presenting to the people today is not a jabba sack. We gave a commitment to the people of St. Lucia when we were on the campaign trail that we would have replaced the Privy Council with the CCJ as the final appellate court for our jurisdiction. Mr. Speaker, so this was not or is not a jabba sack. When the people of this country went to the polls, they knew what they were voting for. They knew they were voting for, among other things, the reinstatement of the One Laptop Per Child program. They knew they were voting for an administration that would absorb the cost of CXC math and English. They knew they were voting for an administration that would give expression to the philosophy of having one university graduate per household. And Mr. Speaker, they also knew that had they voted for the St. Lucia Labour Party, they would have seen the young athletes of this country receiving, receiving better support um, in their exploits, irrespective of where, Mr. Speaker, or the discipline that they chose. And so, Mr. Speaker, in equal measure, they also knew that once the St. Lucia Labour Party had won the elections to form the government, that we would have replaced the Privy Council with the CCJ. And Mr. Speaker, not only is it contained in the manifesto, but in the front speech by the Governor General after we, we became the government, the Governor General spoke to St. Lucia embracing the CCJ as the final appellate court. This was reiterated by the Prime Minister in his budget address, Mr. Speaker. So here we are today, 
making good on a promise made to the people and we are being faced with opposition that is not objective but as the member for Grosley quite rightly said Mr. Speaker the opposition sees an opportunity to posture politically because nothing seemed to be working for them and so they believe Mr. Speaker by making noise about the CCG opposing the CCG that will probably give them a foothold and I watched the member from Mikud South this morning Mr. Speaker I have been in opposition before opposition is lonely and when he looked to his left Mr. Speaker where he would have had some form of support he noticed that there was nobody to cheer him on and so he went off on a tangent he tried to speak about crime Mr. Speaker he talked about bad governance and Mr. Speaker to make it worse he even tried to provide or give advice to our government the same man who want to lecture us on governance and good governance Mr. Speaker was Prime Minister for five years he went beyond the customary five years dragged us into a six year presided just one head of expenditure constituency development program in excess of 100 million dollars and he did not give a single project to the six of us who sat in opposition and when he stood Mr. Speaker I looked at the member and I saw a portrait of desperation I saw incoherence I saw a man who, who did not know what he was talking about but I'm sure Mr. Speaker during the life of this parliament there will be op other opportunities to speak about those things and so I want to say Mr. Speaker that this is your new Japon con gouvernement pour dire nous ka tirer ça en anglais nous ka qui est privy council coller un monde tabé koyo en de pièce chiche et puis loi et quoi aller devant majestoire et des nous pile ou envoyer que sous et quoi aller dans l'autre level nous ka dire dernier level ko en monde ça a fait combat um, pour garder si yo coupable et bien si yo tenir fait trial c'est pour aller l'Angleterre en ça nous ka créer privy council et question nous pour demander quoi nous aujourd'hui combien Jean au Lyon dernier rivière débarra Font Saint-Jacques et bien et bien belle vie qui si ou quoi Yo jamais non l'audience et que pas quoi l'audience là en faveur et que tout le goût mais cela comme c'est bon ça Mr Speaker qui ni l'argent et puis mines là pour aller plaider que si l'Angleterre en privy council with the CCG côté nous qu'a replacé privy council et puis Caribbean Court of Justice Jean Setlici Kai tabé coyo de position et que situation que si yo quoi décision yo joine en l'audience pas de yo ni opportunité Mr Speaker pour appeal et que ça fait ça en dans ça nous qui en final court ko qui pas loin yo et qui ici a même en pays cette ici Mr Speaker et ça c'est un ce pli go l'avantage qui en hold discussion ça que nous ca tirer privy council pour mettre pour mettre CCG Mr Speaker we have achieved a lot as a people and we should never let political opportunists people looking to score political points to cause us to second guess ourselves and what we can achieve as a people i have full confidence mr speaker in the process i have full confidence in the ccg and i am certain that when the vote is put to this chamber this afternoon mr speaker and saint lucia would have embraced the CCG that our country and our people would be much better off as a result of the intervention of this government. So, Mr. Speaker, on behalf of the people of Denry North, I pledge my full support to the move where we replace the Privy Council with the CCG as the final appellate court of our jurisdiction. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.